the nail time. All right, how we gonna do this? How we gonna do this, girl? Let's do this one. This one. We fold open these. Okay, let's go. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about my favorites of the month that I've been loving recently and yeah, let's just roll right into it. So first thing I am going to talk about is uh, non-makeup related items. Not a lot of stuff, I know I say that all the time, but just enough to share with you guys some new products that I'm loving. So the first thing I have been loving are these Pond's Luminous Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. Now, I use makeup wipes, I've used tons of makeup wipes, and all of them burn the hell out of my eyes, like pretty much all of the ones that I've used. And I know that Nicole, she's mentioned these a ton in her video, and she has a problem with ones that burn her eyes, so when she said that these ones don't burn her eyes at all, I knew that I wanted them really bad. And she said that they were really wet, and I really like really wet ones because I've bought some that are like dry, and I'm like, what? the hell this ain't doing shit for my face so whenever I use these they're excellent they have like a textured I don't know if you can tell but they have a textured wipe so I feel like it wipes off the makeup really really well and it says that it's good for contact lens users so I'm guessing that's where the whole no no burning of the eyes comes in but it works really well I really like it and I'm probably gonna stick to these ones just because I really like how they don't burn my eyes and how they're really soapy like whenever you open them you'll you can see See the little soaps on it so definitely have been liking these you should definitely try them if you haven't yet the hype is true the hype is true so um, you guys know how my hair I struggle from like super 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 oily scalp it gets really like itchy and red bumps on it if I use like com uh, shampoos certain shampoos or whatever I think it's because of the fragrance so I told you guys to try the Neutrogena tea cell shampoo which I've been liking but you're only supposed to use that like once a week once or twice a week so I definitely still love that but in between washes like whenever I go to the gym five days a week four to five days a week and you can't not wash your hair like I sweat really bad when I go to the gym so I wanted to find something that I could use in between that and I really have been loving this it's from the body shop it's called rainforest balance shampoo for oily hair it's completely silicone sulfate no colorants no parabens it looks like this I love this stuff I'm sick right now so the smell is good it's not like a the best smell in the world but it doesn't smell bad like that tea cell stuff it doesn't have a smell at all to it but this does have a really nice smell to it it's a little bit more liquidy than most shampoos that I've used but <coughs> I really like it. I massage it really nicely into my scalp and my hair feels really clean and I like that there's no silicone sulfates or colorants in it. So I would definitely recommend this and it's very affordable. I think it's like $10 and you can get it from the body shop. And yeah, I really like this stuff. You should try it out if you suffer from really, really greasy, nasty hair like me, girl. <laughs> so on the hair trend, my hair is getting super dry because I've been coloring it as you can see. I'm trying to transition into like some highlights here. And yeah, this stuff, I remember the girl used it on my hair a long time ago when I went there for the first time. And this is the Red Ken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. I love this stuff. You squeeze it into your hand. It feels really silky. You run it through your hair. And it makes your ends look like they're not fried. Like, you know how on the second day whenever you don't wash your hair, your ends, if you do have breakage on the bottom of your hair, your ends look crazy and there's those little white ball things on the end, you know what I'm talking about. This completely hides them. Like whenever, like right now, my hair just looks super good. It looks super healthy because of this stuff. It really does work. So I would definitely try it. It's kind of on the pricey side. I'm not one that likes to spend a lot of money on my hair, to be honest. But I definitely recommend this one. I think you would like it a lot. And speaking of hair, this I've been loving also. I do my original, like I do my conditioning and then I do this on top of my conditioning. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care New Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. This stuff is legit a balm. It's really thick. Like, it's really, oh, that's kind of... <laughs> But that was water. That was water. Um, it's really thick, pasty looking, and I literally just coat my ends with this. I would stay away from the root area. You're, if you have greasy hair, this would be crazy for your roots. But just for your ends, this is really great for your ends. It's super thick. Like I love the fact that it's the consistency is really thick. And I just put it on my dead ends, and I'll leave it on there for like five minutes. Like shave my legs, do whatever. And it says it repairs up to one year of damage in one use. And I do honestly agree with that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily 
always say it's one year. One year of bad hair and I fix you. No, I don't know if it's like that, but your hair definitely feels really good after you use it. It's awesome. So definitely try it. It's really inexpensive and I think you like. I think you like. Now, moving on. Is that it for the Herker? think so. All right, moving on into makeup. Bam, 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 bam. So I freaking have been missing my freaking face spray. And just to let you guys know, I bought the, I'm not bashing the company, but I bought Model in a Bottle, you can see. I was super excited about this, guys, but legit, no lie, this gave me a million tiny little bumps all over my face all over my face. I have no idea. It's probably the whole fragrance thing because if my hair freaks out with fragrances and shampoos, then it probably would do the same for my face. But a ton of people love this. It's just for me. If And I don't even have sensitive skin, so it's weird. But I really wanted this to work for me because a ton of gurus freaking swear by this stuff and say that it's magicness in a bottle. But I'm telling you, my entire face broke out in tiny little bumps everywhere and it didn't go away for two weeks. So I, my skin looked crazy like it looked it made me appreciate my skin even more because the just the bumps on my face were just so bad and I was like it's never going away it's just never going away my skin's gonna be crazy looking like this and it's just it just it makes you appreciate your skin and see that there's you know people who have worse skin than that and I was just uh it didn't do good for me but this one is the original formula it's heavily fragrance it's like perfume for your face like, I'm sick and I can smell it right now. <laughs> it's heavily fragranced. I wouldn't recommend this just because of, of what it did. But don't take it from me, I guess. Take it from someone who loves it. I don't know what I'm trying to get at because I'm not trying to bash the company. But this did not work for me. So, yeah, and it's a complete waste. And this stuff was like $15. So, should I do a giveaway? This absolutely sucked for me. But do you want it? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, sorry. But yes, it, I went back to this spray and I'm telling you, I freaking am never turning back away from you this leak. You're my baby. And this is for oil control. I like the new packaging from the multicolored one. And I just, oh, I missed this one whenever I was using that one. That one spritz out so heavily. It's like, and it goes like that. Like it sticks to one plate. This is just a fine mist. And it's just perfect. I love it. Definitely recommend this. If you've never tried a setting spray, girlfriend, get with program and try Urban Decay to Slick. It, especially if you have oily, oily skin. And they have all kinds of formulas for different skin types. So that's going to be your best friend in the summer, girl. All right, and two random lip products that I have been loving lately. Um, this is I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing it on my lips with this NYX Butter Gloss. I didn't want to feature this in my favorites yet just because I just bought them, but I'm seriously obsessed. I'm wearing it right now, and it's just buttery and perfect, and it doesn't feel sticky. I just love it. So the lipstick color I'm wearing is Fruit Punch, and it's by Milani. And this is a very opaque color. It's beautiful. I think it'd be a perfect summer color, springtime color. That's just gorgeousness, right? And this on top of it just adds the most beautiful shine. And it's just gorge. It's just gorge. They're very similar in color. Those two together are just bomb. Love it. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I love it. It's so pretty, so pretty. And it's very, like... Look how opaque that is. The color is so nice. I just love these lipsticks a lot. They're my fave. One of my faves for sure. So I've been loving those too. It's wearing one of what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I said that like eight times, sorry. <laughs> and this next one I just got from Rimmel. It's the color 110. And it's like a red orangey color. Red orangey coral color. It's super pretty. I think it's gonna be gorgeous in the summer. I wear it. I, the way that I wear this, I dab it on my lips. I don't like swipe it on my lips. I dab it on my lips and then I put like a gloss on top of it and it just looks gorgeous. I really like this color. It's like an orangey red corally color. It's a perfect little fix. And then for mascara, I've been loving my Telescopic Shockings Extensions Mascara in Waterproof. I need to get off the waterproof train though because my, my eyelashes are starting to like grow in really sparse and short and I think it's because of I'm just using so much waterproof mascara. But it's the only thing that can hold my curl. But yeah, I love this mascara because of the way the wand is. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's the best at volumizing, but it separates them really nicely and lengthens them really nicely. So I like that about it. 
and yeah, I recommend you should try it. I think you would like it a lot. And also, I've been obsessed with my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It's so comparable. The finish is comparable to the Kat Von D Foundation. It's super comparable, in my opinion. I, I mean, I love this one more, obviously, but this one for day-to-day, -day, I definitely would recommend it to you. I have oily skin, so keep that in mind. If you have dry skin, I have no idea if this formula would be awesome for you. Um, I'm sure some of you who have dry skin could tell the pe other people who have dry skin in the comment box and tell them how you like it, but I'm telling you, with this primer underneath, this foundation... In this powder with it it's got to be the blue one with the clean if you have oily skin it's life-changing it's such awesome coverage this powder on top of this powder wait this powder on top of this foundation looks so beautiful it makes your skin look super flawless and like smooth like I'm wearing this foundation together right now and I've have I have a ton of breakouts you probably can tell <coughs> <clears throat> but it makes my skin look flawless even though I have really bad breakouts right now. So I really love these two together. This foundation is in Soft Honey and April Athena 7. She tried a ton of different colors and this is the one that ended up being perfect for her. So thank you April if you're watching this. You saved me so much trouble in trying to find the perfect shade because we're kind of similar in color. And yeah, definitely 855 is my perfect shade for my face and it's in Soft Honey. So if you're anywhere near my color, then get Soft Honey and then get this uh, warm beige to go on top of it. It's perfect. It it's just legit perfect mixture together. I love it. It's awesome. Favorite foundation right now, hands down. I'm doing a video for um, my updated foundation routine. So look out for that girl. And now I, you guys know that I'm obsessed with blushes. I love blushes to death. And I don't know why it took me so long to find these blushes. These blushes are my freaking favorite right now. And I am talking about the Sony, Sonia Kashuk. Beautifying blushes and the one that I'm wearing. I'm wearing one right now. Actually is Sunset so awesome. I'm literally gonna pick up all of these They swatch so beautiful. Look at that it's Barely any touching and look at them. They go on the skin so nicely like whenever you put your brush on there It goes on there it packs on the brush so nice and it just goes on your skin so beautifully And I love the packaging of them like I open it and it's just it's a magnet. It's just ah, I love them so much. So that one was Sunset. Freaking gorgeous color. I love it. And this one is Flushed, which I, I love all three of these so much. And look at that. They just go on so nicely. And they transfer on the skin so beautifully. I love that. Please try these. I'm telling you, you will love them. Especially if you're a blush girl. Flushed. I definitely say these are high-end quality for sure for a low-end price. They're kind of more pricey than like the average drugstore product. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. You will love them. Especially if you love blush. And Flamingo. Flamingo is like the perfect everyday pink. Isn't that gorge? Look at that. Look how good it just goes on the skin. I just think that's just awesome. And I love these blushes, man. And also, I have been liking this CoverGirl Queen bronzer. It's called Natural Hue Bronzer in Light Bronze. This is for people with darker skin tones, but girl, you can use it. I definitely love this for contouring. There's some shimmer in it for sure, but it doesn't really like... It's not an obvious shimmer. And like... Whenever you stick your finger in it, it doesn't come off like a ton. You know what I mean? Like it's pigmented, but it's not super powdery is what I'm trying to say. So whenever you stick your brush on it, you dust it off and then put it in there. And I just think it works perfectly for contour. Keep in mind, this does have shimmer so that if, if that bothers you, you will not like this. But I think it's great to do a little bit of a contour with it and do the outside of my face. I do. I like it. I do. It's not like the best in the world. Like, oh. But I like it for the price. I think it will work for you. Watch someone try it and be like, bitch, I hated that stuff. My bad, girl. <laughs> and last but not least, these Red Cherry Lashes in number 43. I don't know. I got this a long time ago at the iMats in LA. And what's her name? Jacqueline always wears these in her videos. And I'm like, oh, I want to try those so bad. And I looked at my freaking lash. I have a... Um, a bag of lashes and I looked and I'm like watch me have those because I bought a ton of them whenever I was at iMatch and I'm like what the balls I have them but I never tried them so these are definitely another favorite they look really really nice on the lashes these are the lashes I was wearing in my last video where I had the navy makeup 
Love them. Beautiful. Yay! But that's it, guys. That's my favorites. I'm so sorry. I'm literally sick all the damn time. I'm sick right now. Like, previously, for the last four months that I was sick, that was allergies. And now I just full-on got a cold. It just strike, strike me. It just hit me late at night. And it, I still have it. I mean, I feel ten times better than I did. I was, like, out for a week. But, yeah. Bummer. That's why I was out for so long. But I'm back, girl. I'm back. And I'm gonna film a lot for you. But okay, that's enough. Uh, if you have any questions about the products, of course, then leave it down below. If you guys want to keep up with me daily, I post pictures all the time of me, the kids, my fam. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. It's love Melissa Michelle. And I'll leave all the links down below. But thanks for watching this, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.